Vitamin D and autoimmunity. Hi, this is Dr. Ruscio, and a very exciting landmark study was just published showing that supplementation with vitamin D actually decreased thyroid autoimmunity through decreasing what's known as TPO or thyroid peroxidase antibodies. Now, you may have heard that there's, uh, you know, if you have autoimmunity, you should take vitamin D. However, that recommendation has been made somewhat speculatively. Up until now, most of the data that we have just shows that people with autoimmune conditions also have low vitamin D. But we haven't really shown that by supplementing with vitamin D, we'll see a decrease in the autoimmune condition. Those types of studies are uh, really non-existent or, or, or they're very sparse. This study, to my knowledge, is the first of its kind. And this is very exciting because it shows that the vitamin D being low may not be just uh, you know, associated with the disease, but it may be causal. So what that means from a practical perspective is supplementing with vitamin D may actually help the autoimmune condition. Now, we've spoken about this quite a bit in some of the podcasts that are all on my website in audio form and also transcribed if you want to get a deeper uh, dive on the vitamin D piece. But an important thing to mention is we see the association of uh, low vitamin D to many diseases but in many of the trials where we've given vitamin D, we haven't seen a great effect on those diseases. But the one area that's somewhat unknown, and we mentioned this in the podcast and the articles, is autoimmune diseases, because there's not a lot of clinical research on vitamin D supplementation in autoimmune diseases, but it's the one area that I think makes the most sense where vitamin D might be the most helpful. So for most people, I think the, the uh, claimed benefits of vitamin D supplementation have been a bit over exaggerated. You still definitely want to have a reasonable supplementation, maybe around uh, 2,000 IUs a day if you're uh, a, a little low, maybe a little higher, up to 6,000 a day if you're very low, until you get your levels into the normal range, maybe around 40 as, as a uh, benchmark to shoot for. That's still a good recommendation, but the thinking that we can treat and potentially cure every disease under the sun by vitamin D supplementation may have been a bit of a stretch. However, the one area where we don't have a lot of data, and I think there's the most plausibility for vitamin D being helpful, is with autoimmune conditions. And again, this is a landmark study showing that as a treatment, vitamin D did lower thyroid autoimmunity through lowering TPO antibodies. So if you are a doctor or a patient and you have um, thyroid autoimmunity, then using supplement, uh, supplemental vitamin D may be a good idea. Just make sure you periodically monitor your levels so you don't go into an excess. Okay, this is Dr. Risho. Hopefully this information helps you get healthy and get back to your life. Thanks, bye.